Drawing is a skill that demands that you think of many things at once, which is physically impossible as the conscious mind is capable of focusing on only one thing at a time. To learn drawing, we need to familiarize our subconscious mind with the material so that it can take over the control of our hand and that comes only with practice. All type of art is the artist's attempt to communicate to his audience. As Robert Beverly Hale put it, a fundamental characteristic of realistic drawing is that the ideas are communicated by the means of symbols that give the illusion of three-dimensional form. He says that one must be aware of the existence of form, then determine its shape and light it the way it's recognized for what you have in mind and its position in space. Then you need to translate and simplify that form into recognizable shapes. We start with the most basic symbol in drawing, line. If we have to represent or reproduce anything, the most basic way in which to do it is in line. A line may be used to represent the outer edges of an object, outline or silhouette, the meeting of planes, the meeting of one color and another, or a place where value changes. It can be used to define the shape and simply as a line. A line can also be used to express form, feeling, emotion, texture, material, etc. For example, a vertical line communicates an upright and standing quality. Horizontal lines communicate stability and balance. Diagonal lines communicate action, dynamism, instability, and sometimes even danger. A line in itself has shape, value, and edges. A line is nothing but a series of dots. Depending on the order in which these dots are placed by the artist, we can form two basic types of lines, straight and curved. These can be thick or thin, long or short, light or dark, horizontal or vertical or diagonal and a combination of these. Straight lines can be horizontal, vertical or diagonal, while curved lines can be drawn in C curves, S curves and other complex curves. Let's start with straight lines as they are simple and can be described in terms of tilt, length, value, weight and direction. Curved lines are a little bit more complex and are difficult to reproduce in a single stroke, especially for a beginner. But straight lines with a particular angle can be reproduced fairly easily. You will get to curved lines later. Note, all the lines we draw are going to be soft edged and light. For your assignment, you will draw 10 lines of different lengths every day. The goal here is to gain control of your pencil pressure. The lines you will draw will be soft edged and light. Use whatever grip you are comfortable using. I would suggest the overhand or the underhand grip. If you have got any value from this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing for more.